The objective of this job practice is to develop skill to produce quality single and multiple pass fillet wells on 250 thousandths inch thick aluminum in the flat position. For this exercise, you will need eight pieces of 250 thousandths inch aluminum plate to form each workpiece. The electrode wire is 3 64th inch diameter ER4043. The shielding gas remains welding grade argon. The equipment is the same as previous job practices, including protective clothing, gloves, and helmet, and stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. For the machine settings, the polarity remains direct current electrode positive, or reverse polarity. The amperage setting is increased to a range of 195 to 205 amps, and the voltage range is increased to 22 to 25 volts. The gas flow rate is set to 40 cubic feet per hour. And the electrode wire stick out will range from one half to three quarters of an inch. The workpiece for this job practice is an eight plate assembly which forms four corner joints and four T joints. The corner joints will each receive a single pass and all T joints will be welded with a total of three passes. To construct the workpiece, first assemble four of the plates to form a box. The edges should be overlapped about one sixteenth inch to produce the desired corner joints. Deposit small tack welds in the corners and at the center of the joint to hold the plates in place. Now, tack weld the four remaining plates perpendicular to the sides of the assembled box to form the T-joints. The plates are tacked at each end to fasten them to the box. However, the back side of each plate should receive an extra tack weld in the middle to prevent expansion of the joint or cracking from heat buildup during welding. While the joints are still hot from tack welding, thoroughly brush them clean to remove surface oxides. Assemble three complete workpieces before beginning to weld so that the pieces can be alternated and allowed to cool thoroughly between passes. To weld the corner joint, place one workpiece on the table to bring a joint up into the flat position. Position the gun for a 90 degree work angle and a 20 to 30 degree push travel angle. Travel evenly along, holding the electrode wire in the center of the joint. Do not use any weaving motion. The finished weld should have a flat to slightly convex face, about three-eighths to one-half inch wide. Proper gun angles and travel speed are essential for correct welds. The 90-degree travel angle prevents undercutting along the edges of the joint. Improper travel angles or a slow travel speed will create excessive heat buildup and may result in over-penetration or melting through the joint. Set the first workpiece aside and weld another corner joint on another piece. Continue to alternate pieces until all the corner joints on all the workpieces are welded. To weld the T-joint, place a cooled workpiece on the table so that one of the T-joints is in the flat position. Position the gun at the end of the joint with a 45 degree work angle and a 20 to 30 degree push travel angle, centering the wire in the joint. Move along evenly, keeping the wire centered in the joint. Use a very slight weaving motion to fill the joint evenly. The finished bead face should be 3 8 inch wide, flat or slightly convex, 
and reasonably smooth and regular. As with the corner joint, remember to alternate workpieces until the T-joints on all pieces have received one pass on each side. When welding the joints with the center tack, use a small oscillating movement to fuse into the tack, keeping the bead face smooth. For the second pass, position the gun with a 50 to 60 degree work angle, directing the electrode onto one toe of the first bead in order to overlap it about two thirds of its width. The travel angle is again 20 to 30 degrees push. Move evenly along the joint. Do not hesitate while traveling or melt through can occur. The finished second pass should not exceed 3 eighths inch in width and should be flat to slightly convex, overlapping the first pass by two thirds. Deposit all the second beads on all work pieces before beginning the third pass. The third and final pass will use a 30 to 40 degree work angle, directing the electrode at the toe of the first bead in order to overlap one half of the second pass. The travel angle remains the same as before. Travel smoothly and evenly along the joint, using a very slight weave, if necessary, for proper fill. The complete T-joint should have a face that is flat to slightly convex, smooth and regular, with no undercut along the toes. Inspect the weld and continue practice on the remaining workpieces.